masks are mostly off, which means risk is up. We are seeing some scattered flu cases. Early October is a bit earlier than normal for Parkland to be treating flu. Thankfully, none of those flu patients have been sick enough to be admitted. But Chief Medical Officer Dr. Joseph Chang is worried. Australia actually this year statistically had its worst flu season since before COVID. Okay, so we are expecting us to reflect that. We already are, according to data from the state. Compare the final week of September 2022 to the same week in 2020 when we were masked and distanced. In 2020, 0.58% of hospital flu tests were coming back positive. No region of the state reported increased flu activity. Last week, 3.56% of tests were positive and three regions saw a spike in cases. This is why doctors say a flu vaccine's value. It's not 100% protective, but um, it's better than nothing. It really is. Cannot be overstated. Now is actually probably the perfect time before the end of October, but really uh, you can't be too late with the flu vaccine. So even if it's November, December, or even early January, uh, getting it is better than not getting it. We have the vaccine available at our, at our clinics. But not, we're not only just doing that, we are going in the community, setting up pop-up clinics. For two plus years, an unfamiliar virus wore us down. Doctors don't want a familiar foe to wear us down again. In Dallas, I'm Teresa Woodard.